Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy NGF Code. And I'm finally here to give y'all an updated dribble tutorial slash combo vid. I'ma also give y'all other options if your ball control isn't high enough. But before we get started, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We moving closer and closer to that 10k sub milestone. Let's aim for 250 likes on this video. Also, follow me on all my other social media platforms which are linked in the description below. Now let's get right into the vid. This game is all about stringing moves together. So first, I'm going to go over how I do all my moves individually, and then I'm going to show y'all how I combo them up. So let's start off with dribble styles. The best dribble style to use by far is LeBron James. His is the best because his speed boost is faster than anyone else's. Especially compared to Magic Johnson's. A lot of people use his because of that one glitchy move, but his same size speed boost is trash. And that's why I stick to LeBron James. Alright, so let's move on to signature size ups. My personal favorite is T Mac. You can either hit a combo out of it or you can hit a quick speed boost. I really like his because his cross tweens are quick and effective. So here's how I trigger the T Mac animations. So when you flick on your right stick standing still, your crossover will look like this. But notice how he kind of stops abruptly. That's because the animation isn't fully complete. So what you want to do is after you hit one move, you want to follow it up with another one but not too fast though, or not too slow. Make it to where the T-Mac animation plays out smoothly. So what I like to do is either a tween tween, tween double cross, or tween cross behind the back. Notice how my player gets slow and how my animations flow pretty nicely. So with all the signature sizes in the game, that's what you're trying to aim for. And I just happen to like the way T-Max looks the best. Another one that's pretty good if you don't have a high enough ball control is D-Wade. His aren't as fast, but it is a pretty good substitution. Next, I want to talk to y'all about Lamella Ball's Breakdown Combo, another simple but really effective move. To trigger this animation, all you gotta do is slick up on the right stick really quickly, and just let the animation play out until you're ready to make another move or burst out of it. I like this move because it gives me time to read the defense to see how they're playing me and my teammates. Peep how I used it right here. I got Shark Tech and he only got his hands up, so I pulled up on him. Right here, bro thought I was gonna shoot it off the step back. Then he came up way too high, so I took him to the rack. Alright, so for this part, I want to talk to y'all about pro combo moves. This is a new animation that I added to my bag, and I like it because it's pretty fast. Alright y'all, so there's two main animations that I really like in these combo moves. And I'm going to show y'all how I trigger them every time. For the first one, if the ball is in your right hand like so, you want to flick your right stick left, then right really quickly. And that's one of the animations. It may not seem like a lot right here, but trust me, if you mix these in with combos, then I promise you'll get some angles. For this next animation, it's pretty much the same thing but opposite. So if the ball's in your left hand, you want to flick your right stick to the left, then right really quickly. For some reason, this one's a bit harder to trigger than the other one. I really like this one though, and I'm still working on incorporating this into my bag. It's a pretty cool animation that I've never seen anybody else use before. Here's how I've been using it in-game. I like to use it to start my combos. Here's another example of me using the pro combo moves. This time I caught some ankles. Here's another really good combo move animation that I like to use. This is John Morant's. And his is pretty good because it actually looks like you're trying to move forward. So I like to pair this one up with a snatch back. And that gets me open a lot. This one might be more effective than pro if I'm being honest. It's because it's more drastic and it's more likely that the defender will bite on it. Unfortunately, the clips of me using this move got deleted. But I do got this one though for y'all. Sheesh, I sent that boy flying. For this part of the vid, I want to talk to y'all about Lonzo Ball's crossover. Now y'all know I like them quick moves, and as far as crossovers go, this is about as quick as it gets. It gives me a nice change of direction without the risk of it being stolen from me. And I stick to this tween move because the regular cross is not that effective and it gets stolen a lot more. Here's what the regular cross looks like, and I try to completely avoid doing this. Here's a clip of me using a tween though, and look how I lost my defender. Bro really thought I was going towards the corner. Next, I want to talk to y'all about one of the best and one of the most overused moves in the game. 
that Jamal Murray behind the back. Now this move is really easy to trigger. All you gotta do is hold RT and push the right stick down towards the opposite ball end. But don't be that guy that only uses this move because it could get really predictable and easily stolen if the defender goes to the right side. So my suggestion to you is instead of spamming it, use it as the last move in your combo because this move is like a kill move. It's that cherry on top. Also, you guys should use this misdirection move that's tied to it as well. It's the same thing, but the only difference is you're pushing your left stick in the opposite direction. So for this clip right here, the ball's on my left hand, so I'm gonna push my right stick down and down right, but push my left stick towards the left. If I'm not making any sense, this is what the hand cam is for. Watch that closely. This is a great move to have in your bag to throw your defenders off and keep yourself unpredictable. Now if you don't have 83 ball control for this move, then James Harden is a great substitute. P-Power used this behind the back move in game though. I usually never use this move by itself. P-Power set this up. I make him think I'm going left and then boom, I lost him. Next I want to talk to y'all about Trey Young's escape moves. One of my personal favorite moves in the game. You trigger these by holding RT and flicking your right stick diagonally up towards the opposite ball hand. Or directly left or right towards the opposite ball hand. Now these moves are perfect for combos or speed boost. Or you can just let it hang and that'll get you open too sometimes. It's definitely very versatile. There's also double move animations connected to them as well. And you trigger those by doing an escape move first and then not letting go of RT and flicking your right stick again. And here's what some of the animations look like. Here's a clip of me using it in game to shake my defender. The direction that you flick your right stick in will determine whether it'll be a crossover or another tween. I prefer the double move crossover animation because I feel like it's more effective. Now if you can't get Trey Young's escape moves, a pretty good substitute will be Jimmy Butler's. I would say that his moves are pretty fast and effective. In these clips, I'm using Jimmy Butler's escape. And look at the space that I'm getting. A lot of the times, this big cross gives me all the space that I need. Kimba Walker is also a pretty good alternative as well. So yeah man, try all them out and figure out the one that you like the best. For this part of the vid, I want to talk to y'all about Jimmy Butler's Hezzy. Now, this is one of my main moves that I use when I come down the court. It's really subtle, but it's a nice little change of pace that'll catch your defenders off guard. Peepaw used it in this clip right here. Left my defender in the dust. And if you time it right, you can catch some ankles with it too. Another thing that y'all should have in y'all bag is that standstill Hezzy speed boost. You trigger this move by holding RT, flicking your right stick towards the ball hand, and then running towards that side. Again, it's simple but it's still pretty effective. You can do the same move out of the triple threat too. This is the best thing to do when somebody's playing you too tight. Like in this clip right here. Alright, so the next move I want to talk to y'all about is that Penny Hardaway spin. I think he has the best combination of spin animations. And this one right here is actually pretty good too. This animation kills on the ones court. Alright, so this next move I want to talk to y'all about is John Wall's step back. One of my favorite moves in the game. To trigger this animation, all you gotta do is flick down on the right stick. With or without holding RT. This move is really versatile. You can put it in so many different combos, you can catch ankles with it, you can use it to get away from your defenders really quick, and that's why it's really popular too. Now if your ball control isn't high enough, another really good substitution would be Vince Carter or Jimmy Butler's. So those are all the teams that I'm rocking with and some substitutions. Alright so this next move I want to talk to y'all about isn't an animation and everybody can do this move. I call it the left stick crab. This move is also pretty easy to do too. While you're running forward, push your left stick diagonally down towards your opposite ball hand. And if you get your defender stuck behind you, that's a wide open three. This move is really good against defenders that are playing you way too tight. Just know that when you do these type of shots, your time is going to be a bit slower. 
Alright, for this next move, it's gonna be another really good left stick move. The main move is Trey Young, and I use the left stick to do the quick speed boost. I'm gonna put my hand cam in slow mo so y'all can see how I really do it. Trey Young first, and then I push my left stick the opposite way. This is a great move because it's so fast. Alright, so this next move I wanna show y'all is not an animation, it's just a momentum crossover. trigger the momentum you have to be holding RT then you flick your right stick as if you're doing a regular crossover right after you flick your right stick push your left stick in that same direction that you did the crossover in and you've probably done this animation before an accident this is how you do it on command but yeah man I really like this move you can use it to start or connect your combos there's a tween version of the momentum too and they're almost triggered the exact same way the only difference is the direction of your right stick. You're pushing your right stick directly left or right instead of diagonally up left or right. Once you get one down, you get the other one down pretty easily, since the controls are basically the same. Alright, so I showed you how I do all my moves individually. Now I'm going to show you how I string them together. Alright, so check this clip out. I start off with the lamella ball walk up into the pro combo moves animation then I snatched it back I should have shot this but I didn't know I was going to be this open and then I did a double cross into the Trey Young and that got me all the space that I needed when I'm doing these moves I'm doing each one of them on purpose and I'm reading the defense and my suggestion to you is try not to spam moves have some intention behind what you're doing so now that I got this hand cam I want to recreate a couple of the clips that I got this little combo is clean right here so I'm gonna start off with this one Alright, so the ball was in my left hand. I did combo moves first, then I did a regular twin, then I did a regular crossover, and then I hit a momentum crossover. Started going forward, then I let go of everything and pulled down on my right stick. Here it is again at normal speed. And here's what it looks like at gain speed when you put all those moves together. And this is the other combo that I'm about to recreate for y'all. So it starts with a tween momentum, into the misdirection, then the teammate tween, and cross. Now you can add anything that you want before, in between, or after this. I'm just trying to give y'all a basis of how I dribble. Well, that's pretty much all that I got for y'all today, man. And my bad for making this a longer video. I just wanted to make sure I got all the details in for y'all. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like for your boy. It helps me out a ton. And let me know what y'all think in the comments. But until then, I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. Peace.